So some years ago, they had a secret meeting. And at this secret meeting, everybody had to sign a non-disclosure thing. You know, one of them things where whatever you see, you had to keep to yourself. And when they had this meeting, they had all the record executives there, all the big, you know, record label people there. And they told these people, hey, we need you to keep pushing these rappers, these gangster rappers, these trap rappers. You know, we need to keep um, keep this up now. We don't need no more of these Lupe fiascos and and back in the day, the Queen Latifahs and the public enemies and the KRS-1s and, and the commons. And, you know, we don't need that kind of stuff no more. We don't even need the Nazis too much no more. We need these trap rappers. We need these gangster rappers. Now, the reason being is because record companies have stock in private prisons. And this stock they got in private prisons, you know, private prisons is owned by, you know, private people, not federal government. So when they own these prisons, they get paid the more people they have in them. So to keep these people in these prisons, they need a culture that that we're, we're going to jail is just part of the norm. You know, it's just an everyday thing. You know, the folks who in and out of jail who live that street life, they come and do 30 days, 90 days. You know, this is just part of life, man. It ain't, you know, it ain't no, they don't look at it the way some folk do, man. So the music industry is an easy way. It's just a billboard. It's an easy way to suck these young folks in to make them try to portray the stuff they hear in the music, thinking that it's cool and end up in jail. Now, Crazy Bone from Bone Thugs and Harmony, he the one who, you know, a lot of people didn't talk about it. He probably was the most famous person to talk about it first at least and um so you know you can go see the whole story from him but um man i tell you this is why i don't listen to rap music no more you know i might listen from time to time man some older stuff some pockets some dmx or some nas or something some lupe or something man but um all this new stuff i don't get down with because um hey man don't get fooled bro these boys ain't got no power they is pawns man they do not have no power. They got people that work behind them. They got all the power. And those people behind them tell them how to dress. They tell them what tattoos to get. They tell them what music, to, what kind of music to make, what kind of clothes to wear, what kind of car to drive, what kind of liquor to drink, even what kind of weed to smoke, man. These, um, these folk ain't got no power, all right? So, you know, that's why I don't get down with it because I'm not finna let these culture vultures, other people come in and steal our culture and then turn around and pimp it out and destroy it and turn it into something to just hurt the kids instead of something to make them kids better.